SpaceX is making steady progress towards the orbital maiden test flight of its massive Mars-bound Starship rocket. Space firm conducted a static fire test on Tuesday, November 29, at its South Texas facility. It ignited a total of 11 of 33 next gen Raptor engines on its Starship first stage super heavy prototype, Booster 7. The static fire engine test started at 2.42 pm EST, 1942 GMT, and lasted for 13 seconds. On Twitter, SpaceX shared an image and wrote, Booster 7 completed a long-duration static fire test of 11 Raptor 2 engines on the orbital launch pad at Starbase. Wednesday's test was the first static fire for Booster 7 since November 14, when the huge vehicle lit up 14 Raptors. Shortly after that trial, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk said that the company planned to perform just one or two more static fires with Booster 7 before launching an orbital test flight the first ever for the Starship program. SpaceX's fully reusable Starship rocket has been tested via several hop trials so far, during which it has flown to high altitudes and performed impressive belly flop maneuvers. On several occasions, the Starship rocket crashed on landing, but it has also aced a couple of landings. The next step is to test Starship in orbit before eventually performing the first crewed mission, which will take Polaris program civilian astronauts to orbit. Shortly after the November 14 Booster 7 static fire, Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that the company planned to perform one or two more static fire tests and then make an orbital launch attempt. Starship's orbital launch has been delayed many times, so it's best to take these comments with a pinch of salt. Still, Static fire engine tests are generally the last big test before an orbital launch, meaning the big day for Starship can't be too far away. That orbital mission will likely employ Booster 7 and Ship 24, a prototype of Starship's 165-foot-tall, 50 meters upper stage. The upper stage is powered by six Raptors, Ship 24 has already ignited all of its engines, during a September 8 static fire. A successful orbital flight will make Starship the most powerful rocket ever to fly. That title is currently held by NASA's Space Launch System Mega Rocket, which debuted on November 16, kicking off the agency's Artemis 1 mission. SpaceX is developing Starship to take people and cargo to the Moon and Mars. NASA is already a customer, the agency selected the huge vehicle to make at least two crewed moon landings for its Artemis program which aims to establish a long-term human presence on and around the moon by the end of the 2020s.